gender, a Catholic understanding. As a Catholic, one of the most significant challenges we face in this modern world is understanding the complexities of gender and sexuality. The LGBTQ plus community, and specifically transgender individuals, have been the subject of much confusion, debate and controversy in recent years. In this podcast, we will explore the Catholic stance on transgender individuals and how we can find meaning in every moment, even when faced with difficult and complex issues. What is transgender? Before we delve into the Catholic perspective on transgender individuals, it is essential to understand what transgender means. Transgender is an umbrella term that refers to individuals whose gender identity differs from the sex assigned to them at birth. This means that a person who is born with male genitalia may identify as a female, and vice versa. Transgender individuals may choose to undergo hormone therapy and gender reassignment surgery to align their physical appearance with their gender identity. Science and Transgender One of the most significant debates surrounding transgender individuals is whether science supports the existence of transgender identities. The scientific community has largely accepted that gender identity is a complex interplay between biological, environmental, and cultural factors. Research has shown that transgender individuals have distinct brain structures and hormonal profiles that differ from cisgender individuals, those who identify with the sex assigned to them at birth. This research suggests that transgender identities are most likely not a choice or a mental disorder, but rather a fundamental aspect of a person's being. But there has been no sound scientific evidence to fully support this as yet. Nor are there any clear scientific guidelines or tests on how to diagnose these distinct brain structures and hormonal profiles. Psychiatric Diagnoses and Transgender Transgender individuals have historically been diagnosed with gender identity disorder by the psychiatric community. However, this diagnosis has been replaced with gender dysphoria in the latest edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, also called the DSM-5. Gender dysphoria is defined as distress or discomfort caused by the incongruence between a person's gender identity and their sex assigned at birth. This diagnosis acknowledges that the distress experienced by transgender individuals is not a result of their gender identity, but rather the societal stigma and discrimination they face. The Catholic Viewpoint on Transgender The Catholic Church has a complex stance on transgender individuals. And it is not all that clear and being written and rewritten as more evidence presents itself. The Church teaches that every person is created in the image and likeness of God and is deserving of dignity and respect. The Catechism of the Catholic Church explicitly states that every sign of unjust discrimination towards individuals with homosexual tendencies should be avoided. In fact, if one closely looks at the Bible, and studies it from its original texts, language, and interpretation based on the originating culture and era, homosexuality itself is not spoken of negatively or positively and the current anti-gay biblical references are poor homophobic translations. But I digress. However, the Roman Church also teaches that gender is a biological fact and that it cannot be changed. This has been limited to refer to birth gender. The independent church movement recognizes that individuals may experience gender dysphoria and encourages them to seek healing and guidance through spiritual direction and both spiritual and psychiatric counseling before committing to medical and or surgical interventions. The independent church movement as a whole has made no public statement on the topic of transgender. If we follow the teachings of the Christ, we must recognize that every sign of unjust discrimination towards any individual is not to be tolerated, for all are welcome at his table, finding meaning in every moment. As Catholics, it is our responsibility to find meaning in every moment, even when faced with complex and challenging issues like gender identity. We must approach these issues with compassion and understanding. Recognizing that every person is a child of God deserving of dignity and respect. We can find meaning in every moment by living out the teachings of the Christ, which calls us to love our neighbors as ourselves. This means advocating for the rights and dignity of LGBTQ plus individuals and working towards a more just and inclusive society. In conclusion, as Catholics, we must strive to find meaning in every moment, 
even when faced with complex and challenging issues like gender identity. We must approach these issues with compassion, understanding, and a commitment to the dignity and respect of every person. We can find meaning in every moment by living out the teachings of the Christ and working towards a more just and inclusive society. Let us pray for guidance and wisdom as we navigate these difficult issues. And let us always remember that every moment is a gift from God to be cherished and embraced.